So I've kind of finished this project up. Uh, I want to put my name on it. I'll just create a new layer with initials. And with the brush tool, I'll just um, put my initials. Flash and then animate is designed for web projects. So built into it might not be the best printing tool. It's designed for web projects. Plus, when we work previously and we work today, it's not creating a file that is easy for you to upload, like to Twitter or Tumblr or Pinterest or whatever. We want to create a common graphic file, JPEGs, PNGs, etc. So what I'm going to do here, let's go up to the File menu, Export. This current document is not quite a web file or a printable file. Let's go to uh, Export. We'll select Export Image. So the first item there, Export Image. You have this screen where you can set a bunch of options. The easiest way to do this, at the top right corner, under the presets, is to select PNG24. PNG24. That should be the one of the best quality. Click on that. And I think we'll turn off this transparency. We don't need transparency. We're going to print on a white sheet of paper. So there's a bunch of options that you could do. The only ones you really need to have put it onto ping 24 and then no transparency. That might change what it looks like, but ping 24, transparency. On my screen, I can't see it, but then at the bottom, I think there's a button there that says OK. It, cuts off. it says Save. OK. It says Save. Click Save. I can't see it, but it's down there somewhere. Click Save. And this is going to then want to save it as an actual file that is usable on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever, and printable for us. So it's going to save as something.png.ping. You could put your name on it or leave it as is, since you're going to print it to turn in. Click Save. And now if I exit, or not exit, but if I minimize Animate and go to the desktop, I see my file right there. So that's a file I can then upload to the social networks or print and such. So you need to export, like we just did. That'll create a file that is usable. Then you need to do printing. You can print at home or print here during the lab time. So again, I'll walk you right up to the edge. Don't print, please. But once it's become a PNG file, a ping file, you can then double click it. And you have at the top, print. So if I click print there, don't print at this screen yet. This is your final screen to see before it goes to the printer. You can choose here to print your graphic as a full page, smaller size, how many copies. Of course, you only need one. Fit picture to frame, it'll take up the page. And again, if you were going to print, but don't print yet, you would hit that print. You could also notice, this is going to go to printer number one. Printer number one is that one right there for everyone on this side of the room. Printer number two is for you guys over there. So if um, you wanted to switch those, if there's a lot of people using one, actually I got number one, two, and three, huh? We don't have a printer th two anymore. I guess it's three. I'm not too printer. sure if that one actually works because I um, tried printing from this computer uh. over here. and. I, the only one I could connect to was printer 1. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, I'll ask the technician about that. Whatever yours says there should be okay. Eventually then when you're going to print, whatever that is, you, you can do that. So, uh, again, don't print right now. I still have a couple more things to talk about, but that's the process. And remember, I'm recording this in case you need to review it. 
If you want to review the videos, send me an email. I'm going to cancel that at this point. I'm going to close that. And let me give you the homework. On the desktop, if you go back to the web design folder, there's our class, CIS 126. Inside of CIS 126, homework one, shapes drawing. You want a copy of that folder. So copy that whole folder to your desktop or your flash drive. It's not that big. Once you copy it over, look inside of it. And there are a sequence here of 13 possible choices. Well, 12, excluding one, which we did together. This one, you're not going to turn in this one for, for homework. You have between 2 and 13. I put them kind of in an order of difficulty. Um, these are various characters that, via the techniques we learned today, you want to draw. You want to draw them, color them however you want. They're all in black and white, so you can color them however you want. You're going to turn them in due Monday. We're going to have lab time today for you to get started. And if you're done with it in the lab time today, you're done. If you want to then turn it in on Monday morning, uh, you have the weekend to work. But there are shapes here, or there are characters here, made out of relatively basic shapes. You know, number two, starting from the easiest, quote unquote, to the hardest, we have this character here. It's just a bunch of circles. The big secret here is that some of these shapes are not complete. They're not filled in. So if you were going to colorize Max, you, may, you need to make sure that the shapes are filled in complete to add color. You can get fancy if you want. You can uh, um, put crazy colors and all of that. We will have a deeper lesson later on advanced colorization, making very cool gradients, specular highlights, classic anime style shading or classic American style shading. We'll see a, a, a lecture on coloring. Right now I want to focus on shapes and design and such. So that's number two. The hardest one, number 13, you could challenge yourself with that one. The high gog from one of the Gundam series. Any one that you choose. You only need to do one. You'll be doing the work and printing it out to turn in by Monday. At the moment, that's the homework. You're going to pick any one of those and draw it with what we learned. Make sure your name is on it. General questions at this point? So I think we're going to do that last part. So when we're finished with it in class, do we turn it, turn it out and give it to you? Or? If you're done with it in class, you can turn it in in class and you're done. If you don't finish it in class, you have the weekend to work on it, and you can turn it in on Monday. 